Hello, my name is Nathan Funk and I teach in Peace and Conflict Studies here at Conrad Grable University College. Conrad Grable University College is a Mennonite college that's integrated into the University of Waterloo. We have the oldest Peace and Conflict Studies program in Canada, which dates to the 1970s. Twelve years ago, in 2012, we started a Master of Peace and Conflict Studies program, and it has garnered interest from many international students. MPACS is a four-term or 16-month professional degree program. Uh, students take 10 courses total, and this often includes an in-field internship experience. So my name is Nuhu Abdul Malik. Um, I was Nigerian. Uh, I've been working in the aspect of peace building, literally working in using storytelling as a means of peace tool. Virtual action has been a great tool for people to be able to communicate with each other across the globe. And I was thinking, okay, why can't I bring peace building, storytelling, virtual exchange and fuse them together into one and see how we can promote peace education through virtual exchange. Where I can have students from Nigeria in the midst of the Boko Haram insurgency speaking to somebody in the US and exchanging best practices and learning from each other, understanding the cultural difference and the context at which both of them live. And I'm happy learning these tools here will give me that opportunity to be able to build that program and hopefully before I end my program I should have a non-profit running here in Canada that should be able to address those two those two concerns that I have. International tuition is over eleven thousand dollars per term. In addition to these expenses international students face additional living costs so the total cost of completing the program can range from sixty thousand to seventy five thousand dollars. Counting both new and returning students, we had over 32 active students during the fall 2023 term. And of these students, eight of them, about a quarter, 25%, were international students. And that number is fairly representative of a typical year's MPACS experience. Coming as an international student, from the background I'm coming from, uh, every one dollar counts. So imagine coming from a background where I support myself through my education, I have a family back home, it's huge. Rotary Peace Scholarships significantly assist us in our ability to attract and support international students who will make a difference in their home communities and the wider world and who also make a tremendous difference in the classroom contributing to the learning experience of, of other students. It's comforting to know that okay you have support and in the midst of your struggle there are people who don't even know you, people who have never seen you but have set out some financial level to help you through, so it's, it's, it's amazing for me. I'd like to thank all of the clubs and individual Rotarians who came together to raise over $40,000 to sponsor an international student in our Masters of Peace and Conflict Studies program. It's unusual for us to have a scholarship funded by such a large number of donors, and I think that's a sign that Rotary's membership as a whole uh, is serious about promoting peace. One of the most inspiring parts of my job is to hear MPAC students share what they plan to do after they graduate. For international students, it often means returning home to apply themselves and their education to conflict resolution and peace building in their home countries. So imagine me learning the skills today because of your support and I go back home and change one life. It means that you have done something, you have changed one conflict, you have changed one life. So thank you. That's the best I can say. Thanks again for supporting our students.